So we're getting to the pointy end of this build because I'm here at Creative Conversions this morning. Now, it's getting there, trust me. There's so much involved in a build like this. There's so much organization between getting all the people involved in it. Now, Mike from Clearview. So Mike, Uncle Mike from Clearview rang me up the other day and he goes, Jace, I'm gonna throw a spanner in the works. And I'm going, oh, come on, Mike, I'm getting to the end here. What do you got? And he goes, I've got a new mirror. And I couldn't believe it when he said it to me. He goes, you're kidding me. Like, I've got your latest and greatest on my truck now. And he goes, nah, this is the new thing. So today, I'm gonna to meet Mike here at Creative and I'm, he's gonna show me, he's got, he, apparently he's telling me, I'm gonna be the first one in Australia to put these brand new Clearview, and I don't even know what he calls them yet, that's how new they are, on this new 200. So let's, let's uh, see where Mike is. There he is. Hey, hey mate. mate, look what I got for you. Okay, these are the new Clearview. Mark II. Oh, I can't believe it when you said to me, like, I, like I'm, you're on the phone and you're going, oh, Jace, by the way, those mirrors you just chucked on your car, I've got something better. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So we've been working on these now for a while. Yeah. It, it actually all started about four years ago when we got the idea, and we've just been doing different samples. Yeah. I've not been happy with them, so, and, and, I've, and I've told you a little bit about that. Yeah. But over time, we just kept improving and getting them better and getting them better. Yeah. And now, I can honestly say, he's got it done. I'm really happy. So you've been with working it. on this for four years. Yeah, but just yeah, we we do a sample and we put it on the car and we try it and I just go no, not happy with it. Let's Always go back, improving. redo it again, yep. and do it again and do it again. Gotcha. And anyway, this is the this is the new product. Oh, here we go. Dun -dun -dun. <laughs> As you can see, Look at that. it's a lot shorter. Look Still has that, two then. glass. Comes on our power fold base. Yeah. Got a category Very six shiny. indicator. Pull on my head. Look at that. This comes here with a removable cap. So if you've got a 200 Sahara and you want to put a camera in it, yeah. you remove that cap. Drill out the little Pick thing. Pick the wire and loom up. Plug it in, sit the cap, sit the camera in there, yeah. screw it into place, and just pop it back in there. The indicator is a Category Six, and it comes with a built-in clearance light if you want to hook it up. See the and, puddle light. And if your car's got a puddle light in it, you can hook the puddle light up as gold, well. Gold, gold. Let's get them on and see how they roll, eh? Okay, let's do it. I like them. Let's grab some tools. All right. Fitting a set of clear view. All you need to do is remove the trim. You need a little short flat screwdriver, a Phillips head, and a 10 mil socket. And uh, to get your door trim off, we just give it a pop out with a screwdriver. They come on and off in five minutes, I guess. You've done this a million times, haven't you? Uh, yeah, I did it once. <laughs> I did it once. Well, I've seen you at the shows, mate, where you, actually, you literally, you, that people can buy them, and then they literally, you fit them for them. Yeah, like that's Like that, it. like you have a fitting bay. Yeah. It literally just like, it's almost like getting a car wash. So this is the old mirror, right? Still a really, really good mirror. There's no doubt about it. Used it for many, many years. You'll notice that it has an extension. So you pull out the extension. That's the extension amount there. And it's just basically in and out. So it's just a one piece design. Uh, these are power folds. So you press the button and they fold in and they fold out as well. But they can also, if you were to hit a tree or something like that, obviously you won't damage the mirror. Now, let's see what the new ones are gonna be like compared to the old ones. And that's the part I wanna see. All right, so Mike's already got the old mirror off. That was pretty quick, mate. Yep. So let's get the new one on. Yep. All right, I'll grab the new one out of the box. Make sure we get the uh, left-hand side. Yeah, so yeah. it's just a matter of feeding that in there. That's it, one at a time. Okay. All right, so the first thing you're gonna notice straight away is the compact design. It's very compact compared to the other mirrors. So is that is that really what you were after, Mike? You were trying to get that more compact design? We wanted the we wanted the mirror in close to the car because yep. that's what a lot of people are always asking, you know, they stick out a long way. But 
When they're closed. When, yeah, when they're, they're closed. Yeah. But when you extend your mirrors out for towing, yeah. you've also got to be able to get them out past the yeah. outside of your caravan. So you can see down So the... you've got to do something in here to make it actually compact in. And that's where this unique design comes in. And this has got a in. double slide on it. We've yep. got, we've got a, um, a full-blown patent on that, on the concept, yep, on the slide. Gotcha. And um, when I designed that, I actually drew it all up on the clear glass window in my office. And, and the rest of the officers stood around, they're all looking at what I'm drawing. Thought I was de designing something out of, for a cannon or something, you know? <laughs> but once we got it into AutoCAD, yeah. and, and we could see it would actually work, we started sampling. Stage one. Yeah, stage one. Stage two. Yeah. Look at that. Comes out, and it comes out a lot further, or the same sort of distance? Uh, it's out, it, uh, the, the dimensions from here to here are exactly the same as the previous mirror. But when it, it goes just, in. Yeah. So when it's in, yep. this distance now is much tighter. Yeah, and it's only, it's 30 mil yeah. wider than a standard Toyota 30 mil wider than a standard Toyota yeah. mirror. Yeah, and yeah, when so you see it on the much. car. 30 mil. Yeah. Well, there you go. So you put your, that's what a lot of people are doing. The conventional mirrors on a Land Cruiser are completely useless for towing. It's actually illegal to tow things, right? So it's illegal to run a 200 series Land Cruiser and tow a caravan with standard mirrors. You actually have to put those things, I don't know, you buy them. That's pretty cool, mate. I'm, 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 I really like this. I'm not kidding, this is good. All right, so these mirrors are no different to the other ones. They've still got the same um, power fold mechanism. So if you have a look here, you can still press the button on the inside to push them in and out, whether you're in the bush or whether you're just at the car park and you want to um, push them in so no one runs into your mirrors. And then you want to extend the mirror. Out she goes. Quick adjustment on here and I'm ready to go towing. So you also notice that they've got the two lenses as well. So the convict lens down here. So this one is operated manually. You just push that in like that. And then this one, which is full electric, just like the normal mirrors. There's also the indicator, have a look at that. So if you're a bit old like me, and you can't remember whether you got your indicator on because you can't hear the clicker, look at that. All right, there we go. There's the old ones. We'll put them away in there. Now we're going to... Oh, Jace. Oh, I don't know how it goes in. The cardinal sin. Don't look at me. Anyway, while well, Mike's putting that in, the, the old one back in the box, Mike, um, what about Simon? I, I can't go... I can't be rocking up with these mirrors and Simon's D-Max has the old ones. Simon? Yeah, Simon. Yeah, he'll get over it. No, he won't. Trust did, me, Did you he will. do D-Max ones? Oh... You Did you do D-Max one? You want me to quickly make a set up for him? Yeah. Is that what you're asking me? <laughs> yeah. You reckon we could get a set on Simon's truck? Oh, I reckon we can do that. I knew it. That's so he's, he's got a set for Simon's truck. Let's get him on the D-Max. You know what's going to happen, don't you? What? Simon's going to bash him off trees. Yeah, he will do that. There's no doubt about that. Ah, oh, there it is. I know somebody else that does that too. Not me. Not me. Did you see that? I'll get this truck out of the way. D-Max are really, really simple on their door trims. Yeah. It's only two screws in them. There's one behind the door latch and one in where you grab the door to close it. And uh, once you take them out, the panel just pops off. Obviously, you've got to take your corner piece up here off first. There's a gap down here under the door. That's about as hard as it gets. Watch your pops. Gonna unplug that. There you go. I asked the boys to pack them well. They pack them well, all right. We use our own bolts here. Yep. Because they've just 
got a little bit more shred on them a than, bit than the than the originals. Just a little bit more weight, so we just have a little bit more Some shred. bolts, a bit more weight. Yeah, that's it. You might have noticed, Chase. Look at that. Fits like a glove, Mike. Yeah. Okay, so we've just fitted our new Clearview Mark II version of our towing mirrors onto the D-Max and uh, slide the mirror head out for towing. When we're not towing, we just slide it back in again. Obviously, it's on a power fold. The indicator's are Category 6 for any upgrades. Um, the electrics still work as per standard specs and I'm really, really happy with uh, the final product. I just think it's great. All right, Mike, so the mirrors are on, mate. They fit up awesome. There's no doubt about it, mate. You've outdone yourself when it comes to the mirrors again. I'm keen to get them out into the field. Now, apparently, you got a, you were telling me, and you didn't sort of let on too much, but you've got a little surprise for Simon's D-Max. We have. But yeah. I'm not going to tell you any more about it. Oh, okay. Until it's ready to go. All right. So we're going to have it for the trip. It, it's it's ready. Okay. It's ready. And is it has it has it something to do with food? And that's well, um, you know, you involves know, food in a roundabout sort of. And way. Simon's going to love it. Simon's going to love <laughs> it. So there you go, guys. The mirrors are all on. Uh, the trucks are coming together nicely. We're very very close. There's a new supplies. A surprise going in Simon's D-Max because we're doing a, an overhaul for him. The 200, well, I can't wait to reveal that thing in all its glory. We're nearly there, so let's keep going.